Hi, this is the Tropical Tidbit for Thursday, June 22nd. As always, the thoughts here are mine alone, and in making decisions, consult the National Hurricane Center and your local weather office for the best information for where you are. We're continuing to watch Tropical Storm Brett, and we have newly formed Tropical Depression 4 behind it in the Central Atlantic. I haven't confirmed this, but this may be the first time we've had two tropical cyclones east of the Caribbean in June in the deep tropical Atlantic. So this is quite a sight to see to start off the 2023 hurricane season. Uh, but talking about Brett here first, let's look at the zoomed in loop. This is now approaching uh, the Lesser Antilles Islands and you'll see at the end of the loop here after sunrise that the center of circulation is right about in here with most of the convection now sheared off on the eastern side as this is now racing almost due westward toward the Lesser Antilles. And this is exactly what we've been anticipating to occur over the last couple of days. It looks like Brett peaked in intensity at some point last night during the post-sunset hours when it had a strong convective burst that was nearly over the center. And the reconnaissance aircraft at the time found winds that approached about 70 miles per hour and made a run, maybe even at hurricane force, for a couple of hours there before the sheer decoupled the system uh, from the deep convection entirely and now we see the the naked swirl kind of racing off on the west side toward the vicinity of saint lucia later today and tonight and that will likely uh, begin the weakening process here as recon data has shown a significant decrease in the strength of winds observed at the flight level of the aircraft and down at the surface we're still seeing winds as high as 60 or 65 miles per hour on the northern side of the circulation center where we are still seeing very strong winds out of the east and that will likely be the story as this continues to move toward the west we have seen the center of circulation move a little bit south of west as the plane has found a decoupling from the convection but we'll likely see more of a, a due westward motion here in the final hours of approach to the lesser antilles you can see that the central pressure is a little higher than it was yesterday as well about five millibars higher than its average during the day yesterday. So we are seeing the weakening phase beginning, and this will continue as Brett enters the Caribbean. There's Brett on the GFS as the upper level wind flow, and you can see that there is strong westerlies and northerlies all across the Caribbean right now as there's this upper level trough just in front of Brett dipping over the Leeward Islands, and Brett will move through that and into an area of even higher wind shear, and weakening will continue as it kind of moves into the Caribbean here and eventually dissipates. This is the same story told by the official forecast from the National Hurricane Center, due west track for a few days and then will eventually dissipate this weekend in the middle of the Caribbean, not expecting a lot of impacts downstream as it will fortunately stay away from land areas, but not before moving through the Lesser Antilles where tropical storm warnings are out for St. Lucia, Martinique, and Dominica, which as you'll notice is near and north of where the center is expected to track. Again, most of the heavy wind the fist of wind for a few hours will be mostly near and north of where the center of circulation passes by. That's why we only have watches on the south side of the expected track as winds will be lighter. But we could see a larger area of heavy rain move through as the strong showers uh, to the north and east of the center will translate through and could cause risks of localized flash flooding in some of the islands. But fortunately, the storm will be scooting through rather quickly and impacts will be over a limited duration of time. All right, back to the main loop here. Uh, we're going to continue monitoring Brett as it passes through the islands and hopefully everyone stays safe today, tonight, and tomorrow. Uh, we're also going to watch Tropical Depression 4, a newly formed storm behind Brett, which ironically is, is being sheared out of the opposite direction as Brett. It's being sheared a little bit out of the east. Brett is being sheared out of the west. And that's really due to a, a narrow upper level ridge, which is kind of shaped like this over the systems here. So you have kind of this ridge extending out over the Atlantic and we're getting easterly wind uh, shearing TD4 out of the east, but we've got southerly wind over uh, Brett right now, which is resulting in a net westerly shear as the storm races westward. So we see most of the convection offset to the west of what is a well-defined low level center here on the satellite loop. And this is going to start tracking west northwestward over the coming days. And right now we're not expecting any impacts to land, but it may pass rather close to the Leeward Islands on the current expected track. This is the GFS upper level wind flow. Uh, I'll go back to the beginning of the loop here and we'll see that there's Brett, there is TD4, and there's the narrow ridge that I outlined there 
on the satellite loop for you. So right now there is easterly flow hitting TD4 on the back side, but at some point uh, TD4 will move underneath the ridge axis. So there will be maybe a period of a couple days coming up here where shear will be a little bit lighter and we could see some strengthening of TD4. So as we move forward in the forecast, you'll see that uh, around Friday afternoon or so, the winds above TD4 are lighter than they currently are. So the easterly shear will eventually disappear and then reverse and become westerly shear as the storm moves up into this area where uh, there are trade winds out of the east, uh, but upper level winds out of the west. So at some point here, it is going to start uh, weakening uh, after a couple days of uh, marginally favorable conditions. And as it moves toward the northwest here, it will be encountering this upper level trough over the Eastern Caribbean. And uh, this will serve two purposes. One is to continue enhancing the shear and likely weaken TD4 in the latter part of the forecast, uh, but is also helping to steer it more toward the north here. The deep layer flow is more out of the south and southwest in this area, which will deflect TD4 more toward the north than Brett tracked. Brett obviously is, is going due west. Uh, this will probably not happen with TD4. Can't quite guarantee yet that it will fully avoid the leeward islands, and some models do get sort of close here, but with this trough entrenched over the southwestern Atlantic, the current expectation is for a track north of the islands. Now the GFS, interestingly enough, uh, moves uh, TD4 eventually underneath of this upper level trough, and after a period of near dissipation, does re-strengthen it again out here in the middle of the Atlantic. You can see that pressure number falling to 990 millibars. We see a regeneration of the storm, and Bermuda is right there. So in, in terms of land impacts, it actually may be uh, Bermuda that we have to watch for in the long term, but at this point we're about seven days out on the GFS and it's the only model that shows TD4 surviving that long in order to reach favorable conditions to regenerate. So we'll keep an eye on this just in case for Bermuda down the line, uh, but right now uh, conditions will not be very favorable for development and intensification uh, as it tracks through this part of the Atlantic here. This is the general track guidance envelope for TD4 uh, showing that kind of turn again toward the northwest over the coming days. And you can see that, you know, obviously as we go out in time for five, six, seven days out, uh, there is some spread, but in general, there's a, a pretty good agreement here in the model solutions for this general track. You can see they're all to the north of the Leeward Islands, but some of them get kind of close. So we'll keep an eye on it just in case because any kind of little leftward shift here uh, could bring us into the conversation of some kind of impact uh, to the, the northern part of the northeastern Caribbean islands here. So we'll keep an eye on it just in case. But for now, the expectation is for a track to the north, and uh, the NHC official forecast reflects that here. They show some intensification over the next couple of days, which makes sense, as the environment will be generally favorable for that. But then they show weakening in the latter part of the forecast, which again makes sense, given that it will be running into that upper-level trough with enhanced vertical shear and the environment will generally become more hostile for TD4 during that time. So we'll see if it can acquire a name over the next couple of days, not expecting an imminent threat to land, but we will keep an eye on this just in case the track shifts a little closer to the Caribbean during the next few days. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.